Are there affordable places to live in San Miguel de Ande? Yes. And today I'm going to take you on a tour of a neighborhood called La Parroquia. There's a subdivision phase one and phase two. Mostly residential homes, a couple condo complexes. There are other areas within San Miguel, but we're going to start here. Actually, we're leaving off from episode five. We're leaving from the Unidad Deportiva because it's the La Parroquia neighborhood is just south of Unidad Deportiva, we're on the southern end of San Miguel. So let's get going. Okay, we're heading south. Here's a bus stop in front of Unidad Deportiva, which I mentioned in my episode 5. There's some bus stops up here. This castle we just building we just passed is some kind of event center, currently not in use. There's a bus stop right here on the street. The street's called La Parroquia. There's also a bus stop across the street. A little gas station here. There's a uh, meat market that had a lot of people recommended. Carniceria La Esperanza. I might stop by there on the way back. There's also, well, as you can see right here, we drive by a junkyard. There is another bus that comes in here. Actually, the bus is specifically says La Parroquia. But the bus is not as frequent as the bus 6. So if you live in this neighborhood, yeah, you can take the La Parroquia bus. We have junkyards on both sides. Again, I'm showing you some uh, more affordable options in San Miguel. In prior videos, I showed you some more expensive stuff, but actually, the most kind of the most expensive homes I could find are the ones in Centro. There's a couple in Centro for the low six million dollars range. They're big homes, historic in nature, but. Okay, this first condo development here is called El Atrio. And I have a, a friend from Pickleball who lives here. I couldn't find anything for rent or for sale in here specifically, but he, he told me he's aware of what's for rent. He said three bedroom, two bath is about $765 per month plus utilities. Then a lot of us quoted in pesos. I'm calculating about 18 to 1. So 765 plus utilities. Now, utilities are going to run you gas, water, sewer, internet, you know, generally less than $100 a month. Because most people here do not have air conditioning. So it's very affordable. This next development, condo development, we're going to stop at here. It's called San Angel Residential Condo Community. We've got single family homes coming up, but these are the first two condo complexes before we get into the neighborhood. Um, there's a couple for rent in here. There's a three bedroom, three bath, unfurnished for $900 a month. There's a four bedroom, three bath for rent for also showing $900 unfurnished. There's a couple of condos in here that are for sale, 215,000 to 220,000. And oh, I forgot to mention my definition of affordable is anything under $200,000. Now a lot of these, the ones that are here, these are like some are three, some are actually four, four bedrooms. I would say if you said, oh, I really, really have to have a four bedroom and I can only afford low 200s, this might be an option for you. However, if you say, you know, I can afford low 200s, but I only really need a two bedroom, I would definitely recommend 
uh, someplace else like La Lijona neighborhood. I did a a video on that neighborhood. This, it's it just it's nicer. It's a ni nicer neighborhood. Easier to get to Centro buses. Nice view up ahead. Of course, you can take taxis and Ubers down here as well if you don't want to take uh, the bus. This is a, like a, a little turnout here, circular, you call it. The bus will stop here. Here's a bus stop we're here. Right. The bus doesn't actually go in the neighborhood, but um, right. we're going to go through. La Parochia 1, first neighborhood. La, La, La Parochia 2 is a new development. This is much more affordable. There's a, um, I know somebody that lives in this neighborhood. And he's it's a two bedroom, one bath home for I think he pays it's three hundred a month. If I can find some something somewhere I'll show you. But this is a uh this a little this is a little more local, more affordable, very much more affordable. But here's here's an example. Here's one for rent. Right here. This this would be a two bedroom, one bath. I'm gonna look at my notes here. Um, yeah, two bedroom. There's one for rent. I don't know if it's this exact one. Two bedroom, one bath, 860 square feet, unfurnished, $335 a month. Again, this that number confirms with what my friend said. His son, his son lives in this neighborhood. So yeah, if you really can only afford 350 bucks a month plus utilities, this would be a good option for you. Let's continue on. This is a one-way street, so we'll come back up the different streets. But they're all like here's an example. This is what this typical. These are typical two-bedroom, one-bath homes here. Again, they're very. I think I did find one. I'll look at my notes, but I'm pretty sure. Two bedroom, one bath. You're probably here. You're looking at probably about eighty thousand dollars. Let me show you something real quick. This is why. This this one concern I have about this like this neighborhood. Not much, not much pride of ownership. Just again, if you're a budget, I'd be okay with this. So we're going to La Parochia too here in a second. It's much nicer. It's a brand new neighborhood. Brand new homes. A lot nicer and I actually looked at buying a home here and I'll probably show you the exact one I was looking at. Brokia 2 coming up. These are these are apartments here on the left for rent. They were not here when I looked when I was looking back here about nine months ago. Like, 
Okay, here's a couple houses for 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 sale. Now these don't have a garage, but they're more affordable. These are generally three bedroom, two and a half bath, 1,658 square feet. I'm sorry, let me back up. These are the three, these are some of these are three bedroom, three baths, 1,130 square feet for $135,000, which is $120 a square foot. These are going to be much less expensive, but they're also renta, huh? I don't know. Anyway, I'm going to show you the one I looked at. Okay, the one I looked at buying was right here. This right here on the corner. I liked it because it had a, a little uh, rooftop deck. It's on the corner. The one next to it. These like have drive around. I should get condo development here. Right in front of us, these are condos. There's one for rent. I believe there's one for sale as well. Okay, there's a condo in here. It's a two bedroom. I'm not sure exactly which building it is, but I know it's a ground floor. Two bedroom, one bath. 807 square feet. Fully furnished. It does include a washing machine, no dryer, has a small little backyard for $560 a month. And we're about, we're probably about two miles south of Centro. So you might want a car, e-bike, again you can walk to bus. So why didn't I purchase in this neighborhood? I really like that house there on the corner. We'll be zipping by it here in a second. I mean, it was a three bedroom, three bath, nice rooftop, corner lot. But my agent recommended I did not purchase in here because realistically, What's this neighborhood going to look like in 10 years or five years? It may look like Pro Parochia 1. And that was a concern. It's like, what's it going to look like in five, 10 years? And there's not, a, there's not another entrance into this neighborhood. You have to go through La Parochia 1. Got a completely separate entrance. Then you might say, okay, well maybe it might have, it might retain its value a little better. But when you have to go through this neighborhood. Yes, yeah, it's, it's, it's probably a safe neighborhood. It's just lower income.
roads are not that good, potholes. I'm trying not to talk really negative about this neighborhood, I'm just being honest. I mean, it's if you want something affordable, this is an, one option for you. There's other options in San Miguel. I'm just trying to point out one that's on the southern end of San Miguel and I always want to show you the good and the not so good in my videos. I don't want to sugarcoat anything. We're nearing the bus stop so I want to say thanks for watching found this useful or informative please give it a thumbs up subscribe if you'd like to hit that bell notification and uh, share it with your friends if you think they might be interested thanks for watching thanks for your time